So, uh, first of all, we write again that hypotenuse, hypotenuse uh, is the largest side, that is this side, that is right opposite to 90 degree, and we are trying to find the angle with respect to this angle. So, this one will opposite, oppo, let me write it oppo, and the angle adjacent to the theta will be adjacent, as you have guessed it. So, we can solve it in maybe two ways. So, let me first write the first way. So, if we use the value of sin theta, that is opposite by adjacent, sorry, opposite by hypotenuse, opposite by hypotenuse and add it with the value of cos theta and there is a square which is forward to right there is a square so cos theta is equals to um, so cos theta is equals to uh, as I said by hypo with hypotenuse and it's a square so there is sine square and cos square theta is equals to 1 we are trying to uh, find the where uh, we are trying to prove this identity okay I don't know what is the identity I, so and does I can't explain it to you so these are basically a uh, um, how can I tell you um, these are basically true in most cases kind of situation so in almost all cases sin square theta plus cos square theta will be 1 in most of the time okay or all the time this is what I was saying so we have hypotenuse in both the uh, both the uh, uh, sin theta and cos theta so we can just write hypotenuse square here hypo square because if it's square uh, if you if you you squares uh, on the whole ratio that is opposite by hypotenuse both the terms of the ratio they will opposite and the hypotenuse will get squared in both, both cases so on the bottom half we will write hypotenuse square because you know how to add a ratio I guess and finally we will write opposite opposite square plus adjacent square opposite square plus adjacent square and now we are going to need the Pythagorean theorem of the, uh, uh, the squares of these two sides the summation of squares of these two sides is equal to the square of third side so here the summation of these two sides is opposite square so we are writing opposite square plus uh, adjacent square adjacent square and we will get the third side that is the hypo, hypotenuse square hypotenuse square so now we can write that here you can see this and this are basically equal so we can write opposite square to adjacent square equals to hypotenuse square hypo square by hypo square so as you can see, we have hypo square on top and the bottom. So we can just cancel them all out and write one. Because if we uh, if you divide eight by eight, you get one. If you divide five by five, you get one. So we will get one as the value of the identity. So this is how we can prove that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equals to one. So the another way you can prove it uh, is let me. So you can prove it from this formula. You can start from this formula too. So for that, let me show you. Um, so we know that hypotenuse square, hypo, hypo square is equals to opposite square, opposite square plus adjacent square, adjacent square. So now, if the hypotenuse is taken on the right side we get 1 here because we are dividing both the sides so the left side and the right side with hypotenuse square we get 1 on the left side we get opposite square opposite square 
on this side and hypotenuse square opposite the hypotenuse square or whole square that is the top the top term and the bottom term will, will both be square and the adjacent square and the again hypotenuse square because in basic fraction uh, both the terms we get uh, we are dividing both the terms of the uh, on both sides of plus by hypotenuse square so we know opposite by hypotenuse is equal to sin theta so sin theta and then the square so we are writing sin theta square plus and adjacent by hypotenuse is equal to cos theta so cos theta and there is a square so so we are writing sin theta, sin theta square and plus cos theta square and when we are uh, uh, adding a power to sin theta or cos theta or tan theta we write it uh, directly before the theta that is sin square theta plus cos square theta so this is how we can uh, get the uh, 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 this is how we can prove the uh, identity and you will get sin square theta and cos square theta is equal to 1 ok I don't think this um, this uh, I don't think this uh, proof might come in your exam hall but you, you should learn it because otherwise you will be like a parrot who just memorizes stuff but this formula is actually this identity is actually very important because you, you, you will need uh, you will need this formula in various mathematical problems so there are some other identities too there is x square theta minus 10 square theta so if you try to solve it first so x square theta is equal to for first let me write the size that is hypo hypo opposite because we are taking with respect to this angle that is a theta this is the opposite angle to the theta and this is the adjacent side adjacent side okay so we know that six uh, sec theta is equals to so sec theta is equals to what um cos theta is equals to adjacent by hypotenuse so sec theta will be equal to hypotenuse by adjacent so i'm using the value of cos theta to find the value of sec theta okay i'm not memorizing all the six values i'm just memorizing two values uh, that is a sin theta and cos theta and finding the rest of the terms okay so sec theta will be adjacent by hypotenuse and tan theta is tan theta is opposite by adjacent ok so ok ok I have written it wrong that's it that's the problem So sec theta is equal to hypotenuse by adjacent. So as you can see, I made a mistake. So it is normal for both of us to make a mistake. So don't worry if you make a mistake uh, in the beginning. After complete, after uh, dealing with trigonometry for more than five years, I guess I have written the value of sec theta wrong. So it is normal for you to get the value wrong in uh, when you start learning in um, class 9 okay or 10 when uh, when this chapter will be in you know, a syllabus will be determined by the school so i don't know when, when you will first face this monster city i guess so let me write the value of six uh, six theta square that is hypo square by adjacent square because we, we are using the value, we are squaring the value of sec theta right now. Minus 10 here, it is opposite square, opposite square by adjacent square. Okay, so opposite square by adjacent square. Now, if we take the adjacent common, adjacent square common, what we get is hypo square by hypo square minus opposite square okay so we know that let me write with the o 
O A and H. So H square is opposite square plus adjacent square. Where I am taking the initial letter of each that side's name. So if we we have opposite hypotenuse by opposite square. So if we take the height of opposite and move to the left side, we get H square minus O square equals to A square. So we will get adjacent square here. Adjacent square here and adjacent square on the bottom too. That is equals to one because we are cancelling both the adjacent square from the top and the bottom. Okay, let me move on to the next identity, which is cosec square theta minus cot square theta, and I need to write the names again hypotenuse because and um, theta and this this is the theta, this is the opposite, this is the adjacent. Okay, so cosec theta is equals to 1 by sin theta, 1 by sin theta and cot theta is equals to 1 by tan theta. And let me use the tan theta is equals to sin theta, uh, sin theta by cos theta. Prove here, prove you, prove, uh, prove this identity. So that uh, you can learn the use of this formula because it is a really important formula and you might need this formula to solve many maths. So there is a minus here. Oh, there, there is also square. So the whole square. So we know that uh, tan theta is also sin theta by cos theta and inversing it we get uh, cos theta by sin theta. That is 1 by tan theta equals to 1 by tan theta is equals to cos theta and sin theta. So you can write in 1 by sin square theta sin square theta minus sin square theta uh, and on the uh, top will be cos square theta because we are taking the value of 1 by tan theta. So as you can see there is uh, sin square theta uh, common in both the uh, top and bottom uh, bottom sides. So we take them as common sin square theta and we get 1 minus cos square theta. And now we need the first identity. We need to use the first identity which is mm, sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1. Uh, is equals to 1. So now uh, we have 1 minus cos square theta. 1 minus cos square theta here and we get uh, sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 from the first identity. So what we can do is take the cos square theta here and move on to the right side. We get 1 minus cos square theta equals to sin square theta. So uh, we are using the first identity to prove the third identity. What is use of identities? Okay. So we can write 1 minus cos square theta is equals to sin square theta is sin square theta. And we are going to divide the sin square theta here. Sin square theta. So we get both of them are cancelled. So we get 1. So cos square theta minus cos square theta is equals to 1. Okay. So this is how the, this is the three identities that we uh, we I need to show, show it to you. So uh, let me uh, write them and derive some other values from them. Okay, so I will just all the things on the side. So first is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equals to one. Secondly is sec square theta minus tan square theta is equals to 1 and finally cos x square theta minus cos square theta is equals to 1. So we will uh, uh, rearrange them and find values of tan theta, sec theta, cos x theta and cot theta uh, using the other term that is we can find the value of cos x square theta if you have the value of cot square theta. We can find the value of sec square theta if you have the value of tan theta 
or uh, we can uh, find the value of 10 theta, 10 square theta if you have the value of 6 theta, 6 square theta, sorry. So we get to, uh, uh, to define a form of the uh, same equation. Let me write one with the way and another one boom. So we move this to the right side, we get sine square theta equals to 1 minus cos square theta and we get another uh, one uh, if we move this side uh, this uh, sine square theta to the right and keep the cos square theta here we get cos square theta equals to 1 minus sine square theta so this is how you can find the value of sine square theta if you have the value of cos square theta and similarly you can find the value of cos square theta if you have the value of sine square theta so again we write uh, uh, again we write uh, this variation of the uh, this second identity this is let me name the 1, 2 and 3 so 6 square theta minus 10 square theta is 1 so if you move, move, move this part here we can write 6 square theta equals to 1 plus 10 square theta Okay, 6 so square theta is equals to 1 plus 10 square theta and 10 square theta is equals to uh, we can write it in this way so this is a minus uh, sorry 10 square theta is minus here so if I move this here and move the one there on the left side we can write uh, 10 square theta 10 square theta is equals to uh, 6 square theta 6 square theta minus 1 okay so this is how you can find the value of 10 square theta if you have the value of 6 square theta and vice versa similarly we can uh, write the value of cos x square theta as cos x square theta equals to 1 plus cos square theta and we can write the value of cos square theta as we can write the value of cos square theta as cos square theta as uh, cos square theta as uh, cos x square theta minus 1 so these these two formulas are quite similar and these two formulas are similar so uh, I recommend you to memorize only these identities or which uh, which one do you prefer uh, for example I used to pref uh, prefer memorizing this identity which is x square theta is equal to 1 plus cos 10 square theta and cos x square theta is equal to 1 plus cos square theta I used to uh, memorize, uh, keep them memorized and uh, use them when I need it uh, I guess the cos x square theta is 1 plus cos square theta is the least used formula that is the third identity is the least used formula uh, the most is these, these two and the second most is these two and I recommend you to learn only uh, any three of them because I don't know uh, uh, you can find the rest of this variation easily if you know any three of them so it's better to learn or uh, only have quite a uh, quite handful of them uh, rather than learning everything and forgetting everything uh, when you need them okay so this is what I want to tell you uh, so if you want to tell my experience I used to memorize this formula and maybe this formula because I tried to memorize that uh, 6 square theta is the larger value than 10 theta and cos square theta is the larger value of cos theta so this is how I used to keep them memorized.